In the last video, we rushed the first Necromancer, and I was lucky enough to get not one, but two drops, and we made a total of over 13 billion GP in just about four hours. But heading into today, I noticed something really interesting. Up to this point, not a single player in RuneScape has the Raziel title, which is the Lich King. So I've decided in this video that I would like to try to become the world's first and only Lich King. First thing that happened is a few minutes ago, I got the Necromancy pet. But yeah, so my, my first Necromancy gear, it's starting to buy. It's like, it's actually coming in. Um, right after I logged in today, my plate legs bought. So yeah, we need to be careful to not get merched, but I think today we're gonna be able to get the whole set. Oh, sorry, my goal is to get 120 before other people have 200 mil. That's the hope. There are a whole bunch of new metas. So I'm excited. I think one of the first things we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a look at what those metas are and actually how they work. So we wanna learn the new ritual one. It said powerful essence, three attracting, three, and then speed two on the cape. This seems complicated, but let's figure it out. Why don't we learn it together? Is the TFN gear not being augmentable? Is that gonna stay a thing? My card bot! I sold it before I went to bed for nine bill. And I just bought it back for four and a half. I am the greatest merchant in a RuneScape history. I'm getting two mil XP an hour? This is, I'm actually kind of enjoying this. I'm having fun with this for now. Wait, so I'm gonna have a main hand and my offhand offer is almost the same as Wazzy's. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have a main hand and an offhand in the next hour, I think. My hand's bought! Oh my God, everything's just coming in right now. Wait, the two drops I got from Raziel yesterday will pay for the whole set. This is so sick. We actually played this perfectly. I took out 30 bill of debt for this gear and I'm gonna get it all for free. Also really quick, I know people are giving, giving feedback and that's, that's really, really helpful and good and useful. But uh, can we also just get some love in the chat from Mod Ryan? Like, I think overall, whether you have specific gripes or things, this necromancy launch has come out insanely good and insanely polished. And we've never seen this many people playing RuneScape. Look at this. Look at this. This is, this is insane. Giving feedback is great and we'll continue giving feedback after that. But you don't want to, you don't want this to be lost. That this, this content release has been insane. It's been very impressive. And, uh... You and the whole team deserve mad, mad props for getting this out. Especially considering how kind of scuffed it was in the playtest. Like, you guys had to have cooked. Like, I know there were some late nights. There had to have been from all of you guys. Because, like, it has improved so much from what we played. Hello? 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 What? I'm actually getting scammed. Ran out a lantern? Sell it on the GE and then we'll see it pop up in my... I see absolutely no... Oh, that thing. Got it. Bang. I did it. Let's go. Pog. Oh, it actually sold to me. I called it. It's that easy, boys. I told you guys I was bankrolling the necromancy race. I told you I was putting money in today. That means... I got a main hand last night. I sold it before bed. And then seven hours later, I just bought the main hand and the off hand for the same amount of money. B for boom dead. Dude, don't call us. My foot naps. Wait, I'm about to have the whole set. I'm only missing two pieces. The first Necromancer's socks have been purchased. So why don't we just do rituals until my whole set buys? Wait, wait, I'm gonna use the tome, ready? Bang. 50K XP? Okay, this is pretty juiced. So you just don't have to worry about people at all. But dude, this ghost walk here. Ready? Come on! I'm only missing one piece? Look at this flip. Omniguard sold for 9.1. And then I bought a robe, boots, gloves, main hand, off hand. Basically for the amount of money that I made yesterday selling my two drops, 9, 10, 11, 12.5 bill. And that I bought the whole set for 9, 10, 11. The two drops we got yesterday got me the entire set. Wait, it's per piece? Wait, so with four pieces on, your conjurers are gonna do 28% more damage? Wait, that's actually really strong. Why didn't they went from 290 to 295 and not 292? All of these tiny increments, I think were kind of a mistake. The reason why we have so much EOF scape, they did these two tier increments because they went tier 87, 88, 90, 92, 95. Necromancy goes all the way to 120. There's space, there's tons of headroom. We go up from tier 95 to tier 99 every seven years. So Necromancy has 28 years of headroom before they run out of tiers. Oh no. My 
I'm top one. I've got the full set. Okay, I think I upped my offers too much. And yet somehow, I'm still at basically break even. Ow. I, the city looks so good that I'm actually gonna remove myself from this because I don't wanna I don't wanna ruin how nice this looks, man. <laughs> that is the best. Oh my god. I'm actually I'm actually increasing. If you come back and you trade me, I will literally give you money. I have extra. He's coming back. <laughs> he wasn't even watching the stream. Thank you for your service. The robes of the first necromancer do this. Per piece worn, increase the basic attack damage of your conjured spirits by 7%. That's per piece. So with five pieces, you get 35% additional conjured damage, which should go really, really hard. We're going to try it out at worst on some dummies, but the skeleton should hit like a truck. Um, and then the weapons also have a set effect. So base attack generates generate a death spark. Every time you get to six, your basic attack does double damage. It's kind of like the bulk spec. And then it also has a special attack called death essence. The death essence special attack does 400% average damage. And then it also makes touch of death, finger of death and death skulls immediately reset death spark. It's gonna synergize really, really well because what's gonna happen is you're gonna use living death. What living death does is it gives extra adrenaline touch of death. It reduces the cooldown of finger of death and death skulls. And the basic attack gives you necrosis stacks. And then once you're in living death, you're just going to have a ton of sparks constantly. Last 30 seconds. All right, chat, what color? Special attack, death grasp. Ready? Done. It's because now we have two really strong specs. Dude, five. Wait, this thing, this gear is so strong. Wait, this is gonna look so sick. <gasps> Wait, this is actually juice. Look how cool I look. Okay, ready? <laughs> Give me another one. And then we Threads of Fate. And then we Volley. <gasps> Holy f Bang. 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 Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so for this phase, I think I'm gonna save my soul so I can stun. Oh, he death marked! Wait, it just insta-killed him after the foot! Wait, okay. Can someone clip that, please? <laughs> Bang? Oh my god, it was sick! This is why you name your bars? Wait, you can name your bars? There's a reason I never named my bars, which is that I didn't know you could do that. You can name your bars? Okay, in my defense, if you could direct me to where that's listed in the tutorial. Oh wait, there isn't a tutorial! So how would I possibly know that you can name your bars? I'm liking the skeleton method. Yeah, it's the skeleton. Yeah, we we you, we need to keep the skeleton going. That is level 105 necromancy coming from TFN. Not bad at all. Imagine if everyone's hyped for necromancy and it comes out and it's just released a divination. That's I think the best example of how different the community is now from a few years ago or from 10 years ago, whenever Divi came out. The entire skill for Divi was 10 little holes in the ground where you train the exact same way. You fill up your invent and then you drop them off. And that was the whole skill. And people were like content with that. They were like, cool, looks like we're doing Divi now. That's how simple RuneScape used to be. And now we've got something like Necromancy with whatever it is, nine quests, two bosses, takes you all around the world. If this isn't in the guide, I'm not watching it. Wait, my diagram looks like what? A mildly annoyed Cyclops? I hate it here.
It really does too. Dude, look at this. This is a bit of gaming that we've done. This is just like evidence of slight degeneracy. Wait, this is, wait, there are only this many sets? There are only three Necromancer pets in the game and I have pet in the full armor set. It's got my name on it. Wait, look, all my soul dyes are playing. <laughs> Guess I'm buying seven soul dyes so that I can soul dye the entire TFN set. Her ex broke into her place and shot me while you were there. Okay, editor, whatever you do, do not include any of this conversation. <laughs> That's level 106. We ball. But if the bun breaks while you're eating it, then one, you got a crappy hot dog and two, it becomes a sandwich. I'm sorry. Someone in chat just said, is the ocean a soup? I was about to say, is cereal a soup? And you absolutely obliterated me. I thought I was going to get you guys with a cereal a soup. <laughs> That's an incredible question. The ocean has to be a soup. Yeah. I got another tome. Bang. Back to back tomes. That's huge. Oh, it does work. Did you guys see that double tap? For 107? You know, like one of my suggestions in pre-release was I didn't think Revo should be available for it. And I was I was stupendously wrong. And I'm very glad they ignored my feedback. I got another tome with level 108. Ready? That's level 108. And then ready? Bang, bang, 120k XP. Thank you so much for watching this guide. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, for more necromancy content, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. Sorry, cut that part. <laughs> thank you all so much for watching this guide. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more awesome necromancy content. I think I cooked that, dude. <laughs> okay, I've just been awake for 27 hours, okay? Cut me some, cut me some slack. Does having lower attraction have any benefit? Yes, people won't randomly flirt with you while you're in the workplace. Also, if you fall in love, you'll know for sure that they actually really mesh with your personality. Oh, you mean like in the game? Really enjoy you've always been a consistent person in the RS community. That I know I can always go for positive entertaining stream no matter what I'm doing IRL. I know you open up your stream. It'll be a nice positive experience with good vibes. I can tell you're doing what you enjoy and that you're Energy really comes off. We all love you. Keep going, homie. Thank you, Miles. And sorry, what was the PayPal that you wanted me to send the... I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you. That's very kind. I really appreciate it. It's actually like a really nice heartfelt comment and I made it into a joke, but I do actually really appreciate it. He came back to RuneScape 3 four days ago with no prep. He had no prep at all. He hasn't played since Archaeology came out. So three and a bit years? Spellcaster is you spam the spells and it costs you half a bill an hour. So what one of the other people I was doing is he just had a whole action bar of just darkness. And then he was rolling his hand all over the keyboard. Here, I'll do it for like five seconds. It's also really annoying for everybody, but it looked like this. See this? And it costs half a bill an hour. So that's a way to get an extra like 100,000 XP an hour. And no. Absolutely the heck not. In three. In two. In one. That is 110 necromancy. 70% critical strike damage, which is what we were going for. So we're gonna upgrade our gear. Okay, so I haven't learned how to make tier 80 power. Wait, is it the QBD one? Oh, that's so funny. Five QBD five next, easy. Surely I can solo next with the setup. Surely we'll be fine. Wait, will the skeleton kill the minion? Oh, <gasps> wait, that's so clean. Bang. Bang. Oh my god. Wait, this is like free. Wait, we're absolutely cooking her right now. Conjure the skeleton. And let's go. Wait, dude, this Zaro's face is insane. Uh, where's the drop? Is it the bottom? It's alright, fragments. Alright, we go again. Wait! That shadow phase lasted one second. <laughs> Clip it! Oh my god! 
Dude, look at the skeleton. I swear the skeleton does more damage than anything else. What the f <laughs> Wait. That's a really good kill time. I feel very good about that. Volley of souls, bang. Up. Oh, Easy game. Go. 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 We're playing it. Ah, it's level 80 tank gear. Yeah. People told me yesterday I was sleeping on the tank gear. And what I said to that is, I'm not going to lie. I don't think I'm sleeping at all. But I also don't think they're wrong. It's actually very strong. Okay, I don't need one. So my base life points right now is 17,000. Y'all think I'm gonna die? Yeah, so if I were to vit pot with this setup, just so you guys are aware, ready? I'm capped. My HP is capped. I'm not dying. There is no shot that I die. I mean, if you guys really wanted to see it, I could rock tail too. I could soup. If you wanna see like the theoretical cap, it would be this. <gasps> no way. I have 20,000 base life points. Hold. Okay, it seems like AFK is out, but very low input is in. So just the basic prayer switches with the Revo bar should be perfect. I did it. Nice, dude. Okay, okay, okay. I feel so much better about that. Uh, that is a 112 coming in. I'm wearing tank gear? No, I didn't. Did I perk my tank gear? That's why it's not death marking. I haven't had the biting perk. I haven't had the biting perk for two hours. Oh my God, that's why we're doing no freaking damage. Dude, I've got severe necromantic brain rot. That was almost all of my life points gone. Oh my God. Yeah, I just lost my death skulls again. Okay, hold. Defensives, defensives. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, I think if I mess it up and I lose my my death skulls, we need to cook up a different plan. Wait, holy crap! Wait, reflect was crazy. Whoa! Ooh, foot wraps coming in nicely done. Big TFN drop, but also that last phase was amazing. Okay, new last phase unlocked. Wait, that was almost a PR. Oh my God, that's such a PR. 104, okay. Oh my God. That last phase, man. I wasn't overloaded. I just did that without an overload. I'm realizing why I'm having trouble every second kill. My power burst is still on cooldown from the kill before. Because I'm killing the boss too fast. It probably looks like that. So, if you're making a boss like Raziel that is supposed to appeal or apply or work for a lot of the player base, what you have to do is you can't make it for this group or you're alienating everybody else who you have to make it for if i may use green you have to make it for this bracket because this is probably 70 percent of your player base so you're gonna watch people on twitch melting the boss we're up here it wasn't made for us wait this is gonna one shot How was that not a PR? I actually have no idea how that wasn't a PR. That was perfect. I forgot to command my skeleton, my bad. Look how much damage the skeleton does. And that is level 111 necromancy from the first necromancer himself. Oh, this boss is amazing. I'm actually like, I'm genuinely having a blast right now. 
go. You first. <laughs> 101 is my new PR. And we signed for it because I didn't want to waste a GCD reflecting. That's got to be a PR now. Oh my god. I've got gloves and boots. Wait. I almost have log. I have three off log. Wait, maybe we should just finish this thing. At least 300 mil. Give me 300. Oh yeah, 321 big ones. Oh boy. That was quite bad. Yep. Okay, here, I've got a gen now. Okay, ready? Reflect, vit pot, skulls, volley of souls, finger of death. Should just kill it. <laughs> oh yeah. Hold, I need to brutally murder Raziel. Wait, that was actually brutally. That was crazy. Oh my god! Wait, I'm about to have log. I'm about to go dupless. I am two pieces off log. I am literally. Wait. Half a bill for it. 505? Beautiful. Oh my god, it's better. Jasper's better. What? It just like it doesn't make sense. I don't know why it would be better. Like on paper, the full book should just be better. Can you Discord call Micah? He died and he's AFK. Wait, do you want me to? Trying an eight minute nap? No, he's not taking eight minute naps. Oh, this makes me so happy that I'm not doing this. Yeah, this way that we're doing this last phase is a piece of cake. It's actually just ridiculous. It's so much fun. <gasps> oh my God. There is no way. Another one? We've had five drops today. To be fair, I, I have also been live for 13 hours and 56 minutes. But still. <gasps> Let's go, dude. I might profit on necromancy despite buying ink for 10 mil each. Tonight we have 500 mil pants, 300 mil gloves, 430 mil boots, and a 2.1 bill Omni Guard. The Reaver definitely didn't matter at all. Did we go back to back? Oh, <gasps> no way! What? 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 There's no way! What? What is going on? Oh my god! That, that is insane! I was literally just saying they can't be that rare Go, got a black to bag. Does he get 500? Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> okay, I don't like that they turn at that angle. That angle is kind of... What's the washler got? Oh. 300 kill... No! Also, can I say, it is crazy that we got 7 million XP today, and I didn't do a single ritual. We just grinded TFN. Why am I head shaped like that? Bro, look at Elisa's log. Okay, I have to say, <laughs> that's actually worse than Washley's. Hey, I'm a girl, and I think you're cute, winky face. Hey, I'm a guy, and I didn't ask. I'm sorry, that was mean. Elisa's log is horrible. Um, that is level 112 necromancy coming in. It's huge. We gained 8.4 million necro XP today. Uh, does anyone have Raziel log? Probably not. I think I want to be the first person to get Raziel log. I think that'd be really cool. When are they going to be able to augment the gear? Um, they said Monday. They can't hotfix it. So before Monday, I mean, it's Friday days, three days. Could I get to 120 in three days from 112? Maybe. If we go really ham, we can do it. Do you think Necro is the new MVP style? Um, ask me that on Monday. On Monday, I'm gonna do full testing once the gear's augmentable. Um, it's hard to tell. That's the honest answer. Like, I'll, I'll be honest. I have zero interest in using my Fasoa or my Bulg probably ever again, as long as Necromancy is this intuitive and fun and low input. Like, I did 12 hours of PVMing yesterday and I didn't have to end my stream in screaming pain for the first time in months because the style is just it just 
There's less switches. There's no switches. There's less, there's less stupid. Wait, let's try this, ready? I go bang, bang, bang. Wait. Well, that was pretty fast. 16 second kill where we're just sitting in the instance. There's a plate coming in. It's huge. All right, two more. And then we're out of here. That's another plate. Oh my God. Wait, we're gonna be out of here in five minutes. Okay, so that's a tier 90 ripped up because we've been using tier 70 for four days and that's a little embarrassing. And then I'm hoping if I use it that I might not have to death mark uh, TFN to get him to work. I'm just missing helmet and lantern. Wait, look at this kill time. Oh my God, 54 seconds. David is a ML, nice. Congratulations to It's Dig. Duh, I can speak. Congratulations to It's Dave for being the actual first Necrobancer. If you look at the leaderboard, Nans is literally 25 million XP ahead of second place. Oh my God, no way. No way, I just got a lantern. I'm one drop off log. I am one drop off the world first log. There is actually no way. I took off the lantern for one kill and the boss is like, nah, you need a lantern. Dude. Wait, we actually, okay, we have to grind this out. We have to get this done today. I only have 399 kill count. Oh my God, what is going on? I have never spooned a log like this ever and my hardcore is gonna go so dry here. Bonk, back to back, come on. Give it to me, Raziel. You hate to see it, dude, we're dry. Will the armor drop rate be nerfed? I think it's supposed to be relatively common. To me, this is such a fun bossing experience. You actually, dude, do you know how much bossing in this game sucks? When you grind a boss for 20 hours to get one third of a weapon? I don't want a percentage of a weapon. Getting a drop every a couple hours, that's where it should be. I think we're just, we're so used to just being miserable that we're like, wow, this seems wrong that we're actually getting loot for killing the boss. This seems perfect. If RuneScape moved in this direction, I'd be the happiest man in Gilanor. We're exploring different drop mechanics. There is nothing good in gatekeeping drops. Chat, clip it. Mod Ryan, this is why you are absolutely goaded. I could not agree more. That is the most real and true statement that anyone has ever mentioned. Everyone in the game has the right to have the best equipment. I freaking agree with you. All right, so I'm conjuring all my stuff, throwing a bomb. Okay, ready? Death Skulls, Soul Sap, Touch of Death, Auto, Auto. Living Death, A-Pot, Touch of Death, Death Skulls, ECB Spec, Auto, Auto. Finger of Death, Finger of Death, Auto. Death Skulls, Touch of Death, Finger of Death. Auto, 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 finger of death, blood siphon, command skeleton, soul sap, touch of death, reflect, sigil, death skulls, volley of souls, finger of death, EOF, and the boss is dead. RS is for little kids. Wait, what? Dude, all of us are pushing 30. That's like almost not even an insult. It's just so completely wrong. Like, I bet if you ask chat, half of us are like, honestly, I wish it was. I'm clinging on to the game I grew up on 20 years ago. 29, 32, 26, yeah. Y'all, <laughs> that's some crazy tea. So you're telling me every single person on this list was doing a worse strat than Dave. And then Dave finished 200 mil and then told Omid. Oh, that's sick. That's so cool. Damn, dude. That's actually hype. I am so on Team Omid. I have to. He's he's my boy. So, you know? And Ken. Ken is also my boy. And Yeoman. Yeoman's really nice, too. And my crew place of all will be nice, too. Dent bad, dude. Dent good. It's actually better, because the dent, what it does is it, it presses my head down, which squishes my brain, which means better surface area for better cooling. Anyone who's ever built a PC knows how this works. So I actually have an optimized brain. Bang. Good kill. A talent point. <laughs> actually baited me. I thought that was a log pop up. Okay. 
Holy damage. That was crazy. Oh my god! No way! Wait, what? I've had four weapons. Oh no! The iron is gonna go so dry. Oh yeah. Wait, 1450? 1450! Chat, it's stabilized. Also, I've made three bill today. But also, the price is stabilized. Wait, that was terrible. Wait, what? Oh my god! Oh my god! World first! There's no way! There's actually no way! World first! Oh my god! There's actually no way! That is so insane! We actually... <laughs> Come on! That's so insane! That is so insane! That is so ridiculously insane! What? Locked and loaded, dude! What? Oh my god! Look at Pippin! Come on! The Lich King! Oh, it's such a cool color! Oh yeah! Hey look, we may have not won the skill race, but we won a different race. That's an insane screenshot. <laughs> what in the world? I really said last night, just get the drop. It's not that hard. And today, this is a true, this is the first RS guy standing desk gaming moment. That is a real and true. I am the ultimate Rizzler. <laughs> I am officially the third Necromancer and the first Rizzler. It is possible that someone has title before me, but they would have had to be like not in a clan and on private because not a, no one has seen the, um, no one's seen the stuff. So I will say probably world first. Wait, I'm one, wait, wait. We have to go for the back-to-back, -back. sorry. I'm one kill away from a level. He's going back for one more kill. That is. Level 113, which means I am halfway to 120 Necromancy. We want to get to 120 before Monday so that we can make our testing with uh, maximum Necromancy power if we can. What an absolutely insane day. I don't even have Zami Log yet, dude. 1,300 kills, and I don't have a bow top. This is why I'm so happy the way that they've done these new bosses. It should be giving drops out. You should get a drop every hour or two. I'm actually so excited for the Iron Man arc. We might just go straight into 120, testing, kill every boss in the game a bunch of times with the new year, and then straight into the Iron Man arc. Before I end off this video, I want to quickly say, this is basically a race to RNG. I was not the highest kill count at the time I got the title, but sometimes you have to be good to be lucky and lucky to be good. And now that I am officially the one and only Lich King, it's time to move forward with our plan to race to 120 Necromancy. Not only was there no screenshots or evidence of anybody else having the Razdale title, but we wanted to be extra sure. So we actually went on RunePixel and we cross-referenced every single drop that had appeared on anybody's A-log. And as it turns out, I was in fact the only person with the Razdale title. But with the Razdale title out of the way, it's time to move on to our next mission, which is to race to 120 Necromancy, because I've now got a full set of tier 95 gear. As soon as it becomes augmentable on Monday, I wanna be able to test it out immediately, perk it up and become the strongest, most powerful Necromancer in the game. At level 120, you've got maximum accuracy and damage, so we should be able to absolutely melt almost every boss in the game. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. It genuinely means the world to me.